Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain how I've made one light diffuser for my tabletop studio. This is a very simple and very cost effective, cheap and an excellent diffuser box for macro photography or a very small product photography at home. So this is the DIY diffuser box, a light box. Let me show you the box first. There are a lot of LED light inside. So I'm going to explain step by step how I have made it for my tabletop studio for macro photography at home especially for flying subjects like flies or jumping spider or other insects on your tabletop studio. So let me start step by step how I have made it. First, you will need a plastic box like this. This is a box for paints. It's found all over the world, in every country, you'll find this kind of box. There may be something lying around your home as well, or your friend's home, or in your backyard. You'll find this kind of plastic boxes. You don't have to buy it. You can find it anywhere. A small plywood piece, slightly about an inch smaller than this box. some LED lights. These are the LED lights. These are also very cheap. Maybe around one dollar or so. You can find it in any, any electric shop or in your DIY store. Well, it's available everywhere. It's very cheap and very easily available. For this box, I've used 12 LED lights like this. Six on this side, six on the other side. And you must have some diffusion material like this. The plastic sheet, white color, and very good diffusion material. And also, I've, I've used another diffuser plastic like this. I will explain in my upcoming videos about this diffusion material very soon in my channel. So let me start with the explaining first this, about this box. I've made a cut around this box straightway up to the bottom then i made a cut on the back almost one third of this box around this periphery not the whole bottom now what i've done i fixed this plywood like this at the bottom and put some screw on both sides to fix it. This will be used as a stand for this box. And also the inside as a place for keeping your sample. And also I have made a hole on top of it. I have made a hole on the top side, about one third of the whole periphery of this box. So our purpose of this opening is to fix this plastic material as a diffuser. I've used this spray to cover it, this printed items. This is what it looks like after 
putting the screw on this side and the other side as well and after painting of the box so this is almost done now the only thing remains is to put a diffuser on this opening and I'll have to put a LED light to fix this uh, diffusion material I've used this paper tape like this you see this plastic diffuser material for this opening now this is the time to fix the light let me show you the casket of this four LED light taking this plastic cover and put it back or fix it like this inside this plastic box since this LED light doesn't have a very good diffusing material on top of it so what I have used I have used another very thin diffusion plastic to cover this LED light to make it soft inside the box as I'm showing you so there is a plastic on top of this LED light inside this box so that's the end of the story here now one more point this diffusion box do not have sufficient light for shooting at f8 f11 f22 because with a higher f-stop you get a very small light inside your camera so you might need to use extra flash for this photography so what i have done in this box i have made a stand on the side of this diffuser box to fix the flash on top let me show you this is my Godox flash I can fix this flash with this diffuser box there's a watt shoe clamp fitted on the stand so I fixed that flush on top of this diffuser box you can see now this is fully ready for photo shoot of a small subject either live insects or any small product photography you can do you can press inside this box put the camera in front of it and start shooting I've made few more diffuser box like this with a little variation. So in my upcoming videos, I'll be showing those diffuser box as well. So if you're interested to watch this technique of macro photography at your home, please subscribe the channel and stay connected so that you can watch my upcoming projects. Thank you for today. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. Bye-bye.